Thank you so much. Uh, I want to once again say you're welcome in this uh, press briefing. Uh, as I made mention, my name is Dennis Olanya. I pastor here at Christian Community Church. And uh, with me, I have the team that uh, will be uh, sharing with you more details as pertain the forthcoming crusades. I'm um, a pleasure to have the chairperson for uh, this very arrangement, or the chairperson organizing committee. Uh, I think it's important, it's whole enough to, to say his own name. Please, Thank chairperson, you. you're welcome. Thank you, Pastor Dennis. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Lonyera Amone. I'm the chairperson organizing committee. Uh, I, I, I bless the Lord for this opportunity, and above all, to join hands with every single person to ensure that the name of Jesus is lifted up. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, next to him, we have uh, the senior pastor of our Christian Community Church. Please introduce yourself. Greetings in Jesus' name. I'm Pastor Alfred Komagum, who is the coordinator for the upcoming crusade. Thank you. Uh, pastor Alfred Komagum is a senior pastor of Christian Community Church, and he's also overseer uh, the provincial overseer national fairs for born again uh, that's uh, in actually sub region and uh, next to him we have our wonderful guest he moved across the continent and right here he is so so you're welcome to introduce yourself thank you very much my name is pastor john karanja i come from kenya i do the coordination of the crusades that are done by the sifan group of evangelists and I'm here for that purpose because this time is time for Kitubu. Amen. Thank you so much. So those are uh, the team that we have today uh, that will be getting quite a lot of information uh, pertaining the upcoming crusades. Yes, as uh, we did mention at the start, it is true uh, the churches of Kitkum, uh, together with uh, Christ for All Nations Associate Evangelist, uh, they have organized uh, a mega crusade here in Kitgum. Uh, we call it Kitgum Great Gospel Crusades. And this crusade is starting on the 12th to the 16th of October this year. And uh, it will be at Kitgum Government Hospital uh, ground. And uh, that will begin from 4 to 7 p.m. each day. Uh, apart from that, we will also be having uh, a kind of uh, a training, what we call a fire conference that will also be accompanied during that uh, period of time and that fire conference will be from the 13th to the 15th of uh, this particular uh, of October this year and it will be here at Christian Community Church beginning from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Uh, quite a lot of things has already been ongoing a lot of meetings has also been ongoing a lot of coordinations a lot of information has also been ongoing and as a person in church of publicity, my work is just simple. We are only saying, please, come and let us enjoy the word of God together. Come and let us hear the gospel. Come and let us get the valuable information. Uh, I would give more time to the team I have here. who will give you the in-depth of this particular program, and uh, you will definitely uh, love to hear from them. So at this juncture, Allow me to welcome uh, the Chairperson Organizing Committee, Pastor James Lonyera, uh, who is also a pastor at, Christ, uh, at Christian Fellowship Church. He's the senior pastor there. So, uh, Pastor James Lonyera, you're welcome to address uh, the masses in regards to the forthcoming crusade. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, my coordinator, uh, Pastor Dennis. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm privileged to share with you the heart of God this day and especially this season. We are privileged to receive our partners in the gospel uh, who has come to join hands with us in preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, I want to pick a statement from Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 1 verse number 16. Paul says, I am not afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation to all who believes. Uh, you will agree with me that we are living in a very critical time when it appears like darkness is across the nation and across the entire world. 
And uh, as the Church of Jesus Christ, irrespective of the denominations you are in, what alone we are left with as the power to transform this world and to redeem our world is nothing apart from the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we have come to preach Jesus. We have not come to preach any religion. We have not come to preach any personality. And this is one reason why I am calling upon every single Christian, whether you pray when standing or you pray while, while lying or while kneeling, irrespective of your postures in prayer, as long as you mention the name of Jesus as the name that is above every name. This is an opportunity that I'm calling upon every single person to come and we preach Jesus and believe that God is going to redeem our world. I want to take this time and appreciate a few persons. Uh, I want to really note that uh, God has shown favor to us. We have received uh, permission from Kidgum government, uh, local government, and uh, the district police commander, the resident district commissioner, the mayor of the municipality, and also the chairperson three uh, central division where the event is. We have also received permission from uh, government hospital because we shall be using their field. And so I really want to appreciate the leadership of this district of Kipkum for having given us a leeway to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And lastly, I want to call upon uh, the different church leaders, pastors, and church leaders, and bishops from the respective churches within the district of Kipkum. Please, it is time we come and preach the gospel. I want to promise, as my, my, my coordinator will promise you, that God is going to save souls, God is going to, to heal many, God is going to deliver many. And once that is done, we shall be left with the task and the responsibility of nurturing these souls. And so, if you will stay behind, then you're going to create gaps in this operation of heaven. So I want to invite all pastors and all leaders, all politicians. The scripture is very clear, especially in Romans chapter 13, that... Uh, People in authorities, people in government, you are servants of the Lord. And so I want to welcome every single person to join together with the Central Organizing Committee and make sure we are set for this visitation that the Lord God Almighty will visit our land. And so my purpose this afternoon is to invite every single person in prayers and in person. Let us preach Jesus and see what he's really going to do in the land. So thank you, Pastor Dennis, for giving me this opportunity to speak to my people. May the good Lord bless us all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you to your passion. Uh, as he has stated, this gospel does not discriminate. It is for everybody. Everybody is welcome. And uh, I would surprise you that when we were just starting this arrangement, we invited all denominations to take part in the arrangement. Uh, you may think it is only the born-again churches that they are actually organizing for this but everybody we have invited our friends from the catholic church we have invited our friends also from uh from from uh, from the church of uganda and uh, from all other denominations so it is actually the collective responsibilities and efforts that we are putting together to ensure that we preach the gospel you know sometimes it's not important to talk so much about your religion but we need to talk Christ. So what we are here for is to speak Christ, to preach the gospel. And exactly as the chairperson has stated, we are inviting the entire people of Kigom, uh, Acholi land, and wherever you are to be part of this great important event. Yes, allow me at this particular moment, invite the coordinator, Pastor Alfred Komagum, who is also the Provincial Overseer National Fellowship of Born Again, uh, that's with us to give us more in depth of this because the first time we heard about this I think the information landed in his office first and thereafter he was able to share with us and uh, then now we are ongoing. Please, the senior pastor you're welcome to at least address and give more in depth. You're welcome. Thank you once again. I'm Pastor Alfred Komagum the coordinator of the great gospel crusade coming to Kitgum. I'm grateful to all who are listening and viewing right now. Um, the news for this crusade came to us and brought such overwhelming joy because we had taken so long in the land of Acholi, particularly Kitgum, 
that uh, crusade has not been taking place. And uh, in the time past, most of the crusade take our invitation to the evangelists to come. However, we are grateful that this time round, the news about the crusade hit us on the ground and we say yes to it. I'm so grateful that uh, this time we are going to have a group of evangelists who are coming as associates in big number to bring the good news of the word of God to Kitgum. Many times we have only one evangelist who come to preach the gospel. And uh, it has never happened in the history of Kitgum that a team of evangelists in big numbers, like six of them, coming to bless the people. Forever we are grateful. When we heard about the news of bringing the good news to Kitgum, yes, we have extended hand of invitation to all walk of uh, Christian denominations in the land. This has gone in record that this time round, we have invited um, our brethren from the Anglican Church, from the Catholic Church, even from the Muslim brothers to join hands because this crusade coming is going to target many areas of life. I'm grateful to be the coordinator who has worked hard to make sure that this all fall in place. Uh, having extended the invitation, the body of our central organizing committee is comprising of people coming from this walk of faith. Uh, we have also assessed the background of the team who are bringing the crusade in the land. This team who are coming are products of Daniel Colenda who is a son to a great man of God who founded Christ for All Nations, the late evangelist Reynard Bonke. Many of you would know this is a man whose ministry has touched lives of many people and for the first time his ministry is reaching as far as Kitgum. For many instance he would stop in cities and we are grateful that actually land will be blessed this time that the ministry will come right in Kitgum to bless the people who are hungry for the word of God. Um, we, we are very keen to uh, see the content that will be coming through this crusade. Yes, the number one thing is souls of people to be saved into the kingdom of God. And it is not only salvation. Uh, this crusade will target bringing unity to the body of Christ. We all know that many times we operate in uh, our different denominations without coming together. Already it is evident that in the Central Organizing Committee we see people from different walks coming together and the congregation or the flock will do the same after seeing their leaders coming together. This crusade is also targeting some of the social life aspects. For example, the issue of early marriages and teenage pregnancies that is so rampant in this part of the country. Um, we will be uh, making sure that this crusade uh, address some of those issues. This uh, crusade will also address issues of alcoholism and drug abuses that is taking place in this part of the country. I'm so grateful as a coordinator that uh, all our people who are coming from overseas have uh, confirmed their participation and their coming. I am very uh, grateful that uh, in this mobilization we took keen interest to make sure that the team coming are really people who will bring uh, change to our community. I will trace it back to Reynard Bonke. When Reynard Bonke passed on a few years ago, the first person to send message of condolence was the president of Nigeria, who is a Muslim. He actually said the death of Reynard Bonke is a great loss 
to Nigeria as a country and a great loss to the entire world. This is a man who has a big heart for the people. And I believe if a Muslim president can comment him, this is a big blessing that actually people will be receiving this time round that uh, in the first step of uh, Renard Bonke, great men who have the same heart are coming to the land. I'm grateful that a brother who is uh, a great coordinator for this great ministry of Christ for All Nations is here with us. I take this honor to welcome him to speak to you about uh, the upcoming event. Um, John Karanja, hailing all the way from Kenya, is here. I welcome you to address the people. Thank you. Thank you very much, yes. Pastor Alfred, my able coordinator. Praise the Lord. Uh, to repeat, I'm John Karanja, a pastor from Kenya, but with a missionary heart. I've been involved in this kind of work, coordinating crusades, uh, almost all, all over East Africa, uh, including Southern Sudan. Here in Uganda, we've done several meetings with a few evangelists who are now in this team. And Kenya, my country, and Tanzania has been hammered very well. Especially during this moment when the world declared there is corona, people are not supposed to travel, Tanzania opened the way and Sifan or Christ for All Nations just entered into the country with its whole force. I'm grateful, members of the press. In Kenya, we call you the Father State members. I think you are known for your good job in covering news. And uh, there was a time we thought these are people who only go for where there are accidents, where there are wars, where there are. But now seeing you involved in community, community development and more so in religious matters, it encourages us. So I'm so happy to be with you and also to share our heart. I'll first of all explain a little bit of the vision with these evangelists. This is a mission that uh, has come with a lot of difference. Colenda Daniel, who went on and took the, 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 the mantle of uh, Reinhard Bonke, was given a vision and he was impressed. He was told, you are going to do the double work that Reinhard Bonke has done. And to be so sure, he was told, in your era you are going to win 150 million souls before you depart from this world, if ever you are going to depart. Now, it was a blow to him because in Reinhardt's life, he had won, he had, had done, done meetings that won 79 million souls. And fortunately, or unfortunately, he died at the age of 79. So it's as if every year, this man hammered one million souls into the kingdom of God. And a good example is the Nigerian that, uh, president uh, that was quoted here. It is in Nigeria where he did one single meeting brought together one million and a half people in one single meeting. That is Reinhard Bonke. So when this son of his is told, you are going to bring double of what your father did, it was a great overwhelming uh, vision. He didn't understand it. But because of prayer, God gave him a strategy. He told him, you are not going to do it alone. And this reminded him of what Reinhard Bonke told him before he went. My son, this is not your ministry. This is a ministry to Jesus Christ. And you are going to do it because of Jesus Christ. So he realized God was telling him, join with others. That's where the whole idea of bringing in more evangelists and more so men and women that have got a heart for Africa because that old man died crying, Africa shall be saved. That was his war cry. So he went around, looked for evangelists who have got a heart for Africa, who want to see this gospel spread all over Africa. And that's how he managed to combine a good company of evangelists who started by training. His first training three years ago 
started with the 60 evangelists. I'm talking about 60 international evangelists who've been doing their own ministry into the world for the sake of souls getting into heaven. And one of my leaders, I was serving uh, Carl Butler, evangelist Carl Butler from Australia, joined the team. So I knew my career is gone, my evangelist has been taken. But uh, after his training, he told me, God is opening our own ministries now. We are going for this uh, decade of double, uh, double harvest, and we want to bring 150 million souls together with the others. So I've been following them. Up to now, over 140 of 150 evangelists internationally have joined together with Daniel Colander to reach out to the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and more so to reach out to Africa. And that's where I come in. This will be my seventh uh, crusade this year. Yesterday I did another seven lo lots of crusades and all are marked into Africa. We want to see souls saved. So it's a mighty uh, vision that comes with a difference. This is not what we are, we are used to see. In Kitugum, we have six evangelists who are coming to minister. And they're not just coming to minister during the crusade. They will arrive here a week before. They're arriving actually uh, from third. Fourth, we receive them here. And from fourth to the day when we are, receiving, we are, we are starting our crusades, they will be working in our region. They are going to visit schools. They are going to give books to schools. They are going to preach to schools. The good news must reach all the people. And they have this belief. If we have to make this succeed, our young people shouldn't be left. So our primary schools, our secondary schools, our colleges are targeted when they come for those two weeks, the 